Hello and good morning. This is Will, your online brain training and self-image expert, here today with day eight of our 21-day series. And today, I gotta pump it up a little bit. I just have this feeling that there's somebody out there who either needs this message right now or is going to need it very soon. And it's the message of when you've completely failed, when you're on the floor and you can't get up, because I know I've been there many times, and you try something and it doesn't work, and maybe you tried the tips and tricks that I've been giving you so far and they haven't worked especially yesterday's, the goldfish method, might seem like the stupidest thing you've ever heard, especially when you're dealing with this mammoth, this elephant-sized problem that's in the room, and some guy on the other end of the video is saying, yeah, just be a goldfish and distract yourself for a moment, and you try it and it doesn't work, and how frustrating that is, and I totally hear you. I have been there more times than I could ever count. If I had a dollar for every time I've been there, if I had a dollar for every time that I had that thought in my head or felt that emotion, I would literally be a millionaire. That's how quickly our brain works over the decades that I've had those thoughts. And I'm here to tell you, it's not gonna take decades to change those thoughts. It's not gonna take years to change those thoughts. It will take months or weeks if you actually truly apply yourself. How long does it take to really build new muscle? Not that long. If you truly dedicate yourself, if you truly apply yourself to gain more muscle, you'll do it quickly. How long does it take to become excellent at something? Not really that long. Now, there's the whole 10,000 hours thing. Yes, if you wanna be a brain surgeon, be the best in the world, absolutely. But if you just wanna be really great at salsa, go take a salsa class, and I guarantee you within three months, you can go from where you are now to way better than probably almost anybody you know, unless all the people you know are professional dancers. Now, I'm not saying that grit and hard work and perseverance over time don't matter. They absolutely matter but get your butt in motion. Start doing it now. Do a half an hour's worth of practice every day. Do an hour's worth of practice every day. I'm on day eight of this video series. I've learned more about making videos in these past eight days than I have in years. I've learned how to use iMovie. I've learned how to use my phone. I got a tripod and this little tiny mic that makes a difference in the audio. I just got it done. So get up off the floor. Get your butt into motion. Yeah, you've failed and you've been on the floor for weeks, months, years. I know I've been there for years. I know what it's like to be destroyed on the floor and you look at the couch as if it's a universal way and you can't even get to the couch. You're laying on the floor because you can't bear to do anything else, but you're not allowed to fall asleep, or at least I wasn't allowed to fall asleep because sleep would have been too good for someone like me. So I stayed on the floor for I don't even know how long. And when I finally finally was able to move from the floor to somewhere else, all I did literally was crawl on my hands and feet to the corner. And on the way to the corner, I grabbed the guitar because all I could think was this tune that I had in my head. I'm a, I play guitar and I heard this, this melody go through my head. It's the only time in my life it happened like that. And I literally am in the corner staring vacantly into space as I pluck and try to figure out this tune. And my wife walks in to see me completely destroyed on the, this, you know, in the corner. I know what it's like to be there. And if you follow these videos, if you follow what I'm suggesting that you do, you will see a difference in days, weeks, and months. And I'm not here to tell you the, the general, you know, just see yourself in a different future. That's all very important. But what I love to do is give you some specifics. So if you use yesterday's goldfish method, I promise you it will work with practice. I did it yesterday, right after the video that I recorded. And when I said on that video that I'm gonna change the way that I think about technology, I did. I was trying to use my iPhone with my computer and it wasn't working. My phone was getting full with this other stuff that was on there and I couldn't figure it out. So I finally realized that I was getting so cranky and angry and frustrated and enraged. And I saw it and I let it go. And I said, you know what? I'm sure this is all gonna work out. I'm gonna find a way, it's no big deal. Within one minute, I found my way through the Apple support, which I know for some of you is not that big of a deal, but for me to find my way through Apple support and get to someone on the phone was a big deal. I haven't done it in a month. I've been having this problem for forever and I haven't gone to support. But because I relaxed, because I caught my brain pattern, I did the goldfish method, I just stopped straight up. I was able to relax enough to see the solution, got with Apple on the phone, and cleared up that problem plus three other problems I've been having with iMovie because I did what I recommended yesterday. Now I've been doing this, I've been practicing this for a while. So it, when I set that intention and I set that goal, it doesn't take me that long. It might take you a couple days. 
But so what? So what? Use the information I've been sharing with you. It will make a difference. It is making a difference. And if you're on the floor, get up by using so far these first seven videos. And hopefully today has inspired you to get your ass off the floor and get your beep done. So that's today's message. We'll see you tomorrow.